Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Sorry that took a while. I was just, um, I just washed my face and just kind of like decomposed myself <clears throat> for a little bit there. How the fuck are y'all doing? Thank you, Ronnie. I appreciate the member, dude. Thank you very much, homie. Um, yo, it was dark as fuck. I don't think people really saw too much, um, on that stream. It was just so, it was, it was definitely very, very dark. Which was not good, but fuck it. It's, I mean, fuck it, it's fine, whatever. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that fucking dark on the camera, but it really was. I watched it back, and it was just, no one could really see anything, so that sucks. I'm surprised some people even found me with uh, <laughs> with how it was, to be honest, but, I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. <clears throat> we are day fucking... Technically day 11 of the 31 days, and um, it's it's getting rough for me. It is. Like, I am, I am definitely not feeling good <laughs> with, um, what's it called, with, um, with how I feel. Like, I just, I, it's, I don't, I'm running out of shit that I can think of very, so quickly. It's a shame you get hate for whatever kind of you do nowadays. You can't win. Uh, oh, I mean, Jeremy, I don't really know about all that, but I don't know. I'm just burnt out. Honestly, I really might just give up on the 30 days and just give some viewer the fucking money. Like, I don't know. I, I really just don't feel like, like I'm just burnt out. <laughs> I just, sometimes I don't feel like streaming, bro. And that's not how it should be. I should want to go live. I shouldn't. I shouldn't hate, I shouldn't not wanting, I shouldn't, I shouldn't not want to go live, you know what I mean? Like, bro, I'm just, I'm not, like, I need days of myself. I am so just not motivated right now. Um, and I'm on, and I'm only, like, not even halfway through this, you know what I mean? It's been 13 days, but dude, I'm just burnt out. I, I can't think of new ideas, I can't figure out what I want to do on my streams every day i just need to like I, I, the 30 day challenge i understand why i never wanted to do it i literally am l <laughs> losing ideas and i'm getting burnt out and it's not good um and then obviously i get no i have no motivation when i look at reddit to continue um because it's just you know mostly bullshit um and then, yeah, I don't know. I just, yesterday I just was like hungover and I was just like, fuck it. I'll just, like I, I sh yesterday I shouldn't even gone live. I was so sick. I did, I should not have gone live. Like I just, I don't know, bro. Like I really, here's the thing. I can continue the 30 day challenge. I just think it's going to be low quality streams. I'm just going to say it because if I'm burnt out and I'm in a mood where I'm forcing myself to go live, it's not going to be a good stream. I'm not, I should not force myself to go live. I should just want to go live, which typically I do, but you know, sometimes on these 30 days, I do not want to go live because it's just an off day or just, I'm not feeling it. And I'm just burnt out. Um, like, <laughs> So, I mean, it's, it's like, it's the ch at that point, it's like, is the challenge worth it? Do I reach the 30 days? Or do I just take my fucking days off and, you know, not be burnt out and, like, have, you know, and just, and, you know, feel better when I stream? Yeah, it's in the chat. Though, though, that's what it is. I haven't smoked weed. Bro, Mike, the last time I smoked weed was when I was throwing up. And before that, l literally not. I haven't smoked weed in, like, a, a week and a half, like, at all, besides when I was throwing up there. Um, to help with the nausea. I mean, gaming streams. I could do some gaming streams or something, but... Um, God, it's just hard, dude. It's just so hard. Like, I shouldn't say that because people, you know, say streaming's easy. But damn, it's hard. It is. But, um, you know, we'll see. I just don't want to... 
Like I'd rather just give somebody three thousand dollars or whatever the past three days are than just have low quality shit for like the rest of the month. Honestly. Um. Yeah, I mean, you say twenty one days or something to become a habit. It's not about it becoming a habit at this point. Streaming is already a habit. You know, go not going live would be fucking weird. But I just can't think of new ideas if I don't have time for myself. That's it. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just can't think of shit to do. I wake up and I'm just like, all right, I got a couple hours to think of some shit to do. And, you know, I don't know, bro. I've been eating healthier. I've been doing all this stuff. But, you know, it's just I can't keep up. I need days of myself. We don't care if you have good content. We just want to feel like we're hanging out with you. Yeah, we DJ, but, you have any good but DJ, we there's a lot. want to feel like we're hanging out with you. I, there's a lot of people that just want good content. So I, you know, have to accommodate for all those people as well. Why push it all on yourself? Have the community give you ideas and vote on it daily of what to do. I've done that before, but, um, a lot of stuff that sounds good on paper doesn't really work out to be a stream. For the most part, I think. But I mean, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to throw me ideas, you know, I'm willing to write them down. Um, I mean, people give me ideas all the time, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is what it is. I'm just telling you, uh, I just don't know if I will complete the 30 days. I will keep trying, but if I, if it's like three or four days in a row where it's like, it's like the fourth day in a row and I'm just like, fuck, I'm having to stream again. Like I would just end it at that point. Like I'm not going to push myself over the edge dude i would just i would just quit <laughs> with with the 30 days unfortunately was it 30 days irl 30, 30 days just streaming smoking all of his money on us just so we are entertained but it got downvoted to oblivion many appreciate that for wasting all his money on us just so we'd be entertained uh i mean yeah i don't i don't look at reddit for motivation at all i look at reddit for memes and just like reflections I do not look at Reddit for motivation. If I want motivation, I just ask my friends their opinions. I go on Discord. <laughs> Discord gives me a hell of a lot more motivation than fucking Reddit. Um, that's just for sure. Just on stream forehead if you think you need some amazing content. I dipped out of the last three streams because it was boring AF quality over quantity is always a right choice. Learn from Greek TBH. Uh, Greek? No. Okay. I'm not going to learn from Greek, dude. He literally took two months off. Like I can, I'm not taking two months off. Uh, and then when I come back playing Minecraft, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Greek's a good streamer, but I'm definitely not taking any, any page from his book. Um, listen, I, that's what I'm saying. Typically if I don't have content, like I just don't stream. Like that's typically how it is. But with the 30 day challenge, I'm, I'm just streaming even when I don't really I'll want to. Call see he's crying. He's fine. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Just walk around and talk to people. Your company is what we want, not a show. Yeah, but I'm telling you, a lot of people want a show, dude. We're not really a show, but it's just like entertained. I don't know. I do that. I, I do walk around and, you know, I talk to people, but, you know, like I said, I have to want to do that. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Don't quit. Reddit will never let this go. Wait, I thought SSJ came up with all of the Who ideas. Who cares? Anyway. Like, 4.5 inches, 10% equity, by the way. Like, bro, Reddit half the time doesn't know really what they want. So if they never let if they never let me live it down because I can't complete the 30-day challenge, who gives a shit, dude? Um, I'm not going to – I can't cater to everybody. You know what would be better? Not having low-quality streams for the next 20 days. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'd rather not be burnt out want to go live and have high quality streams then have low quality streams for the next 20 days Suggested burnt out feeling like shit the playoff game tomorrow cowboys versus rams pretty 50 50 fan base go you know and reddit's gonna talk shit about that one like oh he didn't complete 30 days but like who gives a shit because like at the end of the day everyone just wants content nobody cares about fucking like i don't care like make a thread saying oh fucking you gave up early like fuck it dude i don't give a shit i'd rather just have I'd rather just want to, you know, I'd rather want to go live than not. Um, can you play off game tomorrow? I don't know what that is, but I appreciate that. Thank you very much, homie. I guess it's just like football or something, dude. 
Let me say a lot of people spam boring or something in chat. If you have fun doing it, just do it. Well, that's what I'm saying, Mike. Sometimes I am not having fun streaming. That's the point that I'm trying to make. If I'm having fun, I really don't care what the chat says, honestly. As long as, long as I'm having fun, that's all that matters. Because when I'm having fun, the stream's good. The stream's having fun. That's typically how it works. That's, you know, I've been a streamer for three years. That's how it always works. If I'm having fun, the stream's having fun. If I'm not having fun, the stream can feel the emotions. The stream can feel the vibe. And then the stream's not having fun. So it's like, that's the main thing, Mike. Uh, main thing viewers want is for you to be on time. You don't need to stream every day. Um, I mean, being on time would be great. Yeah. Uh, I didn't receive any notification. You had gone live. Never get notifications for you. I think YouTube quarantining you. Yeah. I don't know what the, what the fuck's going on with the notifications. It's annoying and there's no way I could fix it, but it is what it is. I guess. I think it's just a glitch because sometimes I get notifications. Look guys, all you have to do is get up, go for a walk, interact with people for a few hours. It's good for you and good for us. Simple. It's not as deep as you think making out to be want to smoke a joint i'll come through no i'm good go dish but thank you dude um yeah but asr dude i personally don't want to just walk around and talk to people i want to do stuff that's more creative i want to do like i want to create content i want to do stuff like i want to create i don't want to just walk around and talk to people i've been doing that for three years um you know i want to do more than just that LA is limiting your creativity and it's in a big hole in your wallet. I guess it's pretty safe though. Well, LA is the, definitely the safest place for content for sure. Like any other city would get boring very quickly. Traveling is fun, but I can't really travel right now. I have to settle the streamer house shit at the moment. I cannot travel right now. Um, I just need to, uh, I need to get everything settled. I can't just leave my house at, right now. For the most part, Reddit is in agreement on the part. They miss the old style of not planning everything. Also sounds like a lot less work. Well, I don't plan everything. Sometimes I go out and stuff, but I don't know, man. It's just not the same. If I go out and just talk to people, it's really not the same, dude. Like, people don't like it as much. And, you know, I agree because I personally don't like it as much either. It's just gotten old. Um, you know what I mean? And I've adapted past that. I mean, at least, you know, that's what I've noticed um now if i'm traveling that's a little different but if i'm just in la like you know we've seen la a million fucking times so that's the that's that's the thing but then it comes back to i can't travel right now i have to get this whole house situation dealt with let me see what do you think the viewers want to watch events are different well i don't think the viewers really want to watch me do events every day i they they want to just watch me like having fun um I think, and... I'll be there in 10 minutes. See you soon. Okay. Um, and, you know, I think they want, like, they want to watch people that they can get into. And me talking to random strangers, they really can't get into that. Why do you keep making promises you can keep? You do this because you said you would do it. You stream three hours a day. There are days we don't want to go to work, but we do because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, but most jobs don't require creativity. Um, that's the thing, dude. Streaming, you need a lot of, like, with this kind of streaming, you need a, you need to be a lot, very creative. You need a lot of creativity, and you need to be very, very passionate. And I'm not going to lie, dude. Um, I have, I'm losing my, I, right now, being burnt out, I am not being creative on anything that I'm doing. And I have no passion to go live sometimes. Like, I really just don't want to go live sometimes, dude, because I, I've been live 13 days in a row. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but I just... It's just not for me, dude. Everyone's fucking different, dude. And, you know, streaming every day for a month, it's just hard. Like, I just, it's hard for me. Like, it's really difficult, dude. Um, And, you know, yeah, this guy's like, uh, you know, he's like, why are you making promises you can't pe keep? Well, it wasn't really a promise. It was just a challenge. And, you know, I wanted to challenge myself, but it's really, it's, it's bad for the stream. It really is. Um, so, you know, I have to really think about this and whether or not I want to continue this challenge or whether or not I, I just would just want to take the L on it. Um, cause I'd rather just take the L and take a couple or take like, you know, one or two days off, rec recoup myself and not be burnt out. Like that's it. <laughs> like I have to really think about this. I don't know if it's a good thing for the stream to go live 
for the next 20 days with low quality shit like challenge or not like let's say i complete the challenge then what i complete the challenge that nothing happens you know what's gonna happen i'm gonna get hate threads on reddit anyways for having low quality streams whereas if i just say fuck the challenge and just you know have a good stream in like three days then it's just like fuck the challenge like who cares like you know what i mean um like completing the challenge does nothing for me <laughs> um whereas ditching the challenge does something for me that's kind of like how i'm weighing this shit right now i have there's no like i guess the reward would be like oh i did it congratulations to me but um that's not really a great accomplishment like i feel that every day anyways with my streams like if, if i have a good stream i'm like wow that was great you know that was good shit so let me see why the fuck do you even agree to do this in the first place we knew you couldn't do it why do this to yourself um, because it's a challenge and I wanted to try and do it. Explain how you used to be able to do RuneScape streams all the time then. Bring back the old eyes. Um, I streamed for four hours a day at most. Four days a week. <laughs> okay, you that, that was... Wholesome content. Like when you and Bodhi went to that old man's singles meetup. The slug in LA allegiance have gotten stale. Yeah, but I, it's hard to do wholesome content, bro. Because I get kicked out of every. I even got kicked out that day. It's hard. Like I don't know, bro. It's really, it's really hard. Um. Let me see. Fucking. What's your excuse for not doing a good stream? Uh, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's not really like excuses for it. It's just how I feel about a certain stream sometimes. Uh, let me see. When was the last time you really wanted to stream? Um, I haven't wanted. I haven't been wanting to stream the past like, probably two days. Um, not gonna lie, like, it's, I'm burnt out, like, I don't, like, I haven't been wanting to stream the past two days, and you could probably tell, like, you know what I mean? That's why I'm saying, like, I have to really decide whether or not I should just ditch the fucking challenge and just do my thing, you know? <clears throat> Let me see, to be honest, I did say he would do four days and give up, you've done well? Yeah, like, I, I have, like, I don't know, bro, I've been, I've, I've, I'm I'm actually doing more than I thought I would do, to be completely honest with you. Um, hey, retard. Get a manager that has actual ideas, so you don't have to burn yourself out thinking so much. You obviously don't have the brain capacity for that. I mean, my manager gives me ideas all the time, but half the time they're shitty ideas. Um, so I don't, you know what I mean? Hi, I don't take them. Can you unhide me from chat, please? I just became a member. My username is Flash. It doesn't look like I'm you're... I'm an old It doesn't look like you're banned, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm streaming tomorrow, James. I mean, I'm not quitting the challenge quite yet, but, you know, I don't I don't know, man. I, I just, I need to think about it. I need to really ask some real opinions from people, you know, like my friends or something. I'm busy. I don't know who that is, but I'm busy right now. There are managers who are dedicated for creative ideas. Scott C. Jobs just became literate. Uh, well, that. Listen, I don't want to hire another person. I got plenty of. I got too many employees, or something. So. I mean. You need to find your passion again. It's the problem. Eat healthy. Get good sleep. And start streams early. Oh, I mean, I've got passion, but. Not when I'm burnt out. He doesn't seem right. I don't know. Bjorn's probably just uh, just having an, an, just one of his days. I mean, does he ever seem right, though? Um, yeah, Harvey ended up going just to, like, the store or something. That's where he ended up going. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I uh, I think you should keep going, but people need to realize desktop streams are better than nothing. I think the complaints are what's burning you on both ends. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't really... If somebody complains about my stream, I don't really care. Like, whatever. It's just... Um, I mean, it does suck, like... Sometimes having to uh, read the chat and it's just like annoying ass shit that's being said. It's like desktop Andy. It's like fuck. Like it's literally what most streamers are. Like goddamn. Like I'm burnt out at the moment. Give me a fucking break. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I I, I think. Uh, 
I mean, are, what, does anybody actually get mad if I don't complete a challenge? Like, that's why. Bro, the stream game was great. Stop being so hard on yourself. How about setting up a Tinder date for Harvey's stream or something funny like that? P.S. Stop listening to the negative haters. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't really. I mean, uh, I do. I read the stuff, obviously, but it doesn't. I don't let. I try not to let it bother me. Um. I mean, do people Just actually get mad? Is hard and Stop giving a damn about her Reddit. The day our community is limited to 18 plus year. You might start to care about them. 12 year old opinion are worthless. Paul the first really liked the Sunday gaming streams. Can you please bring those back? Yeah, I mean, I could. Um, let me see. I don't think people would be mad. But they hold it. Oh no, I'm a robot, dude. That's what uh, I'm. Sometimes I'm a robot. Um, I don't think you'll be mad, but people will hold it over your head to the end of the time. Yeah, they would. Um, I don't think anyone asked for this challenge that you brought it up. You know, I, uh, I, I did the challenge myself because, um, like, no one asked for this. I just, I just wanted to challenge myself. And, you know, I've done more days in a row than I thought I actually would. So that's, al that's already a win for me. He said he left the network because he didn't want to get reported on YouTube. It doesn't make sense, but he just doesn't get it. Um, it's like, um, yeah, it's, it, I just wanted to challenge myself, honestly. And I've already, like, done more than I thought I would, which is, like, a win for me already, but... Yeah, I mean, I can make the 30 days. I'm just having to... I just don't know if that's good for the channel and if that's good for me. You know, anybody can just go live and just put on some bullshit for, for a couple hours. But I, I want to try and, like, have high-quality bullshit, you know? Not just bullshit. I don't care if you finish the stream. I just want to see you. I'm very ill. The more time I spend with you, the better. Hey, well, I mean, that's 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 a good point then. That's nice. It's a good state of mind to push yourself. Setting goals is the key. That's true, Willie. But uh, it's hard sometimes. I don't know. I mean, it, it is good to push myself, but it's also bad to push yourself too much. Just tough out the negative comments on the down days. Most people know you can't spend 500 a day for content. That's fine. Do you think this is yourself convincing that's okay to just drop it? It's very hard to start and keep habits. I mean, no, no, no. I'm not trying to convince myself to, to drop it. I'm trying to have a, I'm just having a conversation with you guys and trying to see if it's good for me to actually continue for the rest of the month. That's what I have to think about because I already feel myself in a bad state of mind for streaming and that bad state of mind is not having fun <laughs> i'm not having fun at the moment and that's not good because i'm burnt out and i just need time for myself for like one or two days why don't you do a challenge like the prison stream and that does three days for you well because that's not going to count dude i mean that wouldn't really count you just put it out whatever shit you feel like on a specific day. It's what got you rich and famous, homie. I mean. You're flattering me, thank you, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's true, but you gotta adapt. Things change over time. I'm going to keep going with the challenge. I just, uh, I just don't know how much longer it's going to go for, <laughs> to be honest. You know, it's, um, like if I still feel exactly the same as I do right now, a week from now, I probably don't, like, I probably won't continue it. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I felt like this, like, for a couple, I felt that, I felt like this a couple days ago, but then it went away, and then it came back, and then it went away. Like, it's, it's like a cycle. It, like, goes, it, like, comes and goes, comes and goes. But, um, you know, 
typically I can keep myself not burnt out every day for a long time. Um, so that's the difference I feel. <clears throat> Why not just stream just one hour a day? No, no, dude, that's what you mean, dude. One hour a day. Does a surveillance stream mean you can't relax if you took a day off and streamed the house? I don't think a surveillance stream is... I, I don't really want to do that, though, is what I'm saying. I don't want that to just, like... That's not something I want to do for the channel. I don't want to... Even for a day, you know? Um, I don't think surveillance cameras for no reason are, are good. I, just, I, just, I don't know. I just don't want to have, like, shit going. Like, just dog shit streams going just for the hell of it. Like, it's just not fun, you know? Like, it's not good for the channel. Can you go get drunk again? Uh, I don't want to get drunk again. I don't want to drink for a while. I did not feel good two days ago. <laughs> I was so sick. I know how you feel. Sometimes I give myself mad anxiety when I think about going to work. The best things for me not think about it, just go to work. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you got a good point there. I mean, I don't really get too much anxiety. I mean, I do get some anxiety, but I, I control it pretty well. Why don't you play a game and just do it with someone? Not every stream is going to be good and people should understand that. You're right. And people who don't understand that, fuck it. Um, but, uh, no, like, I I mean, I don't know. Nobody really... <sighs> That's another thing. Who would I do it with? I mean, I guess, like, Hyphonics or some Like, I could do it with somebody, but... For, like, a gaming stream, but... Um, I don't think most people want to do it with me, though. You know, maybe chat or something, yeah. But, um, I, th I think, I, th I, just, I just don't know, man. A lot of people just, um, they, they get, like Chad even said it, for example. A lot of people get turned off by, uh, you know, Reddit and stuff. Like, they, or like, uh, just, you know, chat or something. Like, they don't want to get, like, shit because they do something wrong. Um, so, that's why a lot of people don't want to do stuff with me, I feel. Let me see. Thank you, Duos Ghost. I appreciate the member, dude. Thank you, homie. I mean, I, at this point, the, like, random, like, hate on Reddit doesn't really get to me that much. Like, sometimes it does, but, like, I get over it pretty quickly because I have other outlets in my life at this point. A year ago, when the Reddit hate really got to me, I had no other outlets in my life, so... You know, it was it was bad. Like that was the Reddit was my only outlet in my life, and that was bad. But at this point, I have other outlets in my life. You know, I have friends. I have my girlfriend. I have uh, you know just other stuff going on that you know that I can talk to, sh talk about shit to, which is good. So I get over the you know any like bullshit pretty quickly. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people do not like hanging out with me for you know because they don't want to get shit. Uh, let me see. The new people that have seen Crazy Con and TD people just hate on you constantly to drive you down. I mean, uh, maybe. I don't really know, Mike, but fuck it, dude. Most people in the network play, have, play games with each other. Why couldn't they play with you? I mean, they could play with me, obviously. Like, they probably would, but I was saying more like, you know, somebody like Greek or someone or Mizkiff, you know. I miss hanging out with Mizkiff. But, you know, he... Uh, <clears throat> it's on the other stuff nowadays thank you Brooks I appreciate it and thank you Fishing Cartel appreciate the member dude I think lots of people would like to see more streams with Sam and TSA you're you've got to be trolling dude like I like Sam and TSA but you're definitely trolling how about getting a charger for the e-bike and going for a ride I mean that's a good point actually I think CX has become more positive in the last six months um a year ago, it definitely was very negative. So yes, it's it's gone a lot more positive. You're right about that one. All right, I'm scamming donuts. Hold on. Sorry. Well, let me see what this is. What is this? CX in the chat. Uh, I mean, I mean, let me see. I met you. Set goals. You set a difficulty goal. You push yourself. A valiant effort. We need you healthy. Please take a two day break. Come back. I 100 percent cannot even masturbate for two days. Okay. Ice streams are awesome. You're an entertainer and a businessman, but. Really, you're an artist. You come up with ideas yes, and it's art. Yeah. The creative mind at a certain point needs to rest and reset. 
I agree. Paul, what do you think about the slug saying she purposely trying to make Kimberly jealous? What do you mean? Do the dating game stream for EBZ? We have zero EU viewers. Zero streaming schedule. Zero weekly events. Zero sleep. Zero healthy lifestyle. Zero communication offline. Zero stream format. Zero leech rules. You think streaming house is gonna fix that? Well. Well, yeah, because we're gonna have a live-in editor, a live-in manager. Um, Jacob will be there a lot. Um, you know, there'll be other other people living in the house that we can all work together with. Um, I mean, my schedule's pretty... Th like, it's between, like, 3 and 5 o'clock on most days. And, um, I mean, I have a stream format. You just don't see it. But there is a formula that I do use um, to keep myself, you know, on track. You just don't see it because if you saw it, it wouldn't be a very good stream formula. Um, it's just, like... I have beginning, middle, end. That's kind of the, the format that I have. Uh, my lead trolls, I, I tell people to go away a lot that I just don't think add anything. Um, and my communication offline is via Discord, and I do post on Reddit. Even if I don't post on Reddit, I do look at Reddit constantly, but I don't really post that often because I want it... To, I don't want to, like, oversaturate, like, threads with my posts because I just post on everything then. But I do talk to Discord a lot, like, more than anything else for sure. So if you really want communication, then I suggest going inside Discord. Um, okay, what is this right here? Hold on. I'd be mad too if my boyfriend was hanging around a hot bitch with a lot of clout. Oh, Kimberly's trying to stop my bag, and I fucking hate her. I mean, I'd be mad too if I didn't have any clout. But you don't have any clout. I'd be mad too if my boyfriend was hanging around um, a hot bitch with a lot of clout. You raped me. <laughs> Almost. Like, what are you saying? You have no clout and you're just, dis you're disgust. You're like actually just dis disgusting. Like ugly. You're f like, literally you're ugly. You're fat. You smell like BO half the fucking time. And... You literally wear a fucking wig, like, because you're that insecure because you know how ugly you look. I don't really know what else you want me to say. You literally know you're fucking ugly and you wear a wig. My girlfriend doesn't have hair extensions. She doesn't wear a fucking wig. What does that say about you? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like, I don't like saying shit like that and talking shit, but it's just true. Like, I don't want you in my life. I don't want you in my fucking life, dude. My girlfriend never had to get a liposuction to make her look prettier. Which, by the way, didn't fucking work. Get your money back, girl. Um, she also doesn't need to do all this other cosmetic shit that you've done. Um, because you know you're fucking ugly. Um, and then... Like, like I don't need... Like, there's nothing else to say. You're just... A, you're a disgusting person inside and out. And I would never want to date you. It, if I was single, I would avoid you like the fucking plague. I would never date you. Um... I would never go near you. You seem to think I would choose you over any of the other girls in this fucking world that would probably want to get with me. Um, that are also I just fucking that. leeches. Like, I would rather choose a good looking leech instead of fucking the slug. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't even want a leech, dude. Like, I've, my girlfriend's really fucking nice because she's not a fucking leech. someone new from the network every day. This way you can help them and can keep the challenge going for a while. I mean, I do that already. Um, yo, like, what the fuck? She literally just said she wants to ruin my relationship by, like, trying to get me to cheat. Let me just say this, Jesse. I'm not gonna cheat. And I definitely would never cheat on a girl that is literally a, at a very much lower bar than my current girlfriend. Like, absolutely not. You are, 
It, uh, you know. Says you don't have any cons in the loud, loud sky who is a stringer. Netflix show said he would take you out and show you how to be a stringer. I mean, I could do that. Um, Jesse, let me tell you this. I'm not triggered that you talk shit about my girlfriend or anything like that. I'm triggered that you're so fucking stupid. Like, I really, I really, really, really hate people like you. I do. You are conceited. You're narcissistic. You're stupid. Um, and you're just awful. Like, it just triggers me how bad you are. And I don't want you anywhere near me. Like, honestly, like... I'm just banning you for entirely from everything. I just don't want you in my fucking life. It's not even worth the TTS fucking bait. It's really not. You're just an awful goddamn person, dude. And it just annoys me. Like, I hate people like that in this world. People just... Like, she's probably the most... I probably hate her more than I, than I hate anyone else I've ever met. She's just awful. Uh, TSA is me some good shit. Uh, I'll have to watch it then. Yeah, and I've met some awful fucking people in my world, in my life. Corinne, second in place, is an awful fucking person. Terrible person, dude. I hated Corinne. Um, but you know what? At least Corinne was a little bit self-aware. You know what I mean? At least a little bit. Um, whereas you are retarded. And that's all I have to say. Okay. Show the expense report. Oh, okay. So this is a report that Jacob made for us. I'm busy. Who who is it? Yeah, it's a sniper kid. A sniper kid. All right. I'll. I'm busy right now, dude. Okay. Um, this is a um expense report that Jacob made for us. So in the past three months, seventy-seven thousand dollars has been made. Um, and then you frequently pay for other expenses, flights and blah, blah, blah. It's like just some stuff's not added on the list. So let's see. Cause some people might've been curious on the expenses that I spent. So we were talking about it the other day. Um, so the major expenses are the past three months, 26,000 rent, which is a lot and that's stupid. And I know, but it's LA and I, and I need a, and like houses and shit in LA is just not cheap. Fuck it, dude. I don't want to get fucking evicted. Um, $12,000 in flights. Um, we've flown, I've, I have flown probably over a hundred times, maybe 200 times in the past three months. No, 200, probably like a hundred times the past three months. I've, I've flown a lot, dude. Largest expense, round trip flights, Hawaii, 4,700 for six people, $10,000 in deposits, which is awful. Um, but uh, you know, that's what happens when I move a lot. Largest expense, using a flamethrower in your house and losing your deposit. Wait, what? Wait, how did I lose my deposit for using a flamethrower in my house? I didn't break anything. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that, homie. Thanks to the member, dog. Um, how did, I didn't, bro, how did, I, Jacob, do not tell me my landlord trying to take $10,000 out of my deposit because I used a flamethrower in the house. Like, come on. Nothing's broken, dude. Okay, I'll just let that slide. Uh, 9,400 in hotels. We've been in lots and lots of hotels the past three months. Not even really good ones. Just like normal ass hotels. $100 a night. $150 a night. But this shit adds up. Largest expense is a hotel in Iceland for $1,700. That was for two nights. That was when I was trying to like get Caroline to talk to me. And like shit. And that, never, just bad, bad, dark times. Um, and I was trying to like treat her to some like shit. Um, $8,500 in car rentals. <laughs> wow. Um, largest expense, RV rental from Chicago to Stewart, $2,200. $5,000 in Jacob's salary. Jacob's balling right now. Um, $3,900 in moving expenses. Largest expense, moving out of the VINs on Fairfax for, was $1,900 for moving expenses. 4,000 in equipment costs, which is like cables, new cameras, shit like that, blah, blah, blah. So I was trying to save money on that. Um, a new laptop along with $800 worth of repairs a week later, $3,000. That was bad. Yeah. Yeah, my lab, I broke my laptop a week after getting it because, well, I didn't really break it. I was flying and I put it in a backpack and I had to check the bag in. And then when I got the backpack 
back. It was, the screen was broken on the laptop. So that was like really fucking annoying. And I don't know how that happened, but it sucks. And I, the, like, there's no insurance on it. So it's like, fuck my shit. Um, 1500 in cash withdrawals, um, which is just shit for content or whatever the fuck. Um, largest expense, 600 withdrew in Iceland. Don't know why I withdrew 600 in Iceland, but okay. $1,100 in sandwich Andy salary, the kid who made me food and sandwiches uh, twice a week. Um, 1000 Oh, he doesn't come by anymore, so it's whatever. 1000 and whatever medication you take is. $1,000 in modafinil, because that actually shows you that I really don't take it as much as people think I do. Because every, prescri- every new prescription, the first time I got the modafinil is $300. The second time is $800. So it was like around a thousand bucks for everything for a, a new script of it. Cause I, my health insurance does not cover the modafinil since I don't have narcolepsy. Um, but I've only gotten a new script for it once. So it just shows like, I really don't take it that much. So 83,000 in three months. There you go. These are my expenses. And I'm sure you guys can go through this besides the rent. Like, all this other stuff is strictly for content. I mean, paying Jacob, paying hotels, you know, getting evicted, lose my deposits, that is my fault. But it's all stuff that, you know, just happens on stream usually. So, you know, content usually equals getting evicted eventually. Um, 12,000 in flights, you know, it's, it's shit's expensive, dude. Like, it is. It's it's expensive. Um, there's no way the flamethrower cost me my $10,000 deposit, though. There's just no way. There's, there's like legally they they can't do that like legally so this is this must be a joke but um yeah other than that that's uh that's bad that's why i'm really excited for the streamer house because half of those expenses will just completely go away um because when the the investors are going to be funding my flights funding my rent funding my deposits funding everything so i can finally save money because saving money is hard right now because I spend a lot of money <laughs> um, and you know the food and stuff it's like yeah I go out and eat restaurants and it's just like normal like McDonald's and shit like shit adds up bro and I usually pay for people's food sometimes like I'm just ge- I'm like I'm generous dude I I definitely uh, I shouldn't do that sometimes but it, it's fuck it dude let me see it was 90k in three months you didn't read the note on the bottom let me see um, yeah, probably like 90k. The, um, I didn't even see that, but it's fine. You literally eat one meal a day. Yeah, I don't know where this $10,000 in food costs are coming from then. I have no idea. But I mean, I think it's just LA. It's just expensive. Just, you know, went to Hawaii, went to Alaska. Like, these are all just very expensive places to live. So, in terms of like, you know, buying food and stuff, I think so. Go check the ceiling where you were using it. No, the ceiling's fine. And she's my landlord hasn't been over to my house, so it's fine. How about trying to get some sponsors? You managed to get yourself GG Seps. Hey, I'm working on some sponsors right now. But um, you know. <clears throat> I it's very hard to find a sponsor because that is something that I want to take. So most gaming companies don't really want to sponsor me because I don't game. Um and then there's a lot of companies that offer me sponsors but i don't usually take those because they're either weed sponsors which get me banned or they're cryptocurrency stuff which is just kind of shady or it's like gambling stuff which is also shady so i'd rather just not get sponsored by that shit um and then so that leaves me like with the the misc companies that you know would be able to sponsor me which is you know not there's not very many companies that you know are very misc out there but, you know, if I gamed more, I could get some gaming sponsors, you know, I mean, remember when I had fucking Power Rangers? Dude, I played Power Rangers fucking for, well, I don't even remember, I think it was like five hours or something. I just I played Power Rangers for a couple hours and they paid me $2,000 an hour. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, maybe it would be, you know, a decent idea to try to uh, add more, although, never mind, I don't want to game like every fucking day so or like a long period of time like once a week is like fine but i don't know but 
I mean, I could just get like a, I probably a mobile. Oh fuck! I have pepper in my eyes still, on my, on my hands. Probably a mobile game sponsor, but I don't know. I, I'd have to reach out to them because they don't think I game, so they don't reach out to me anymore. Oh, I had pepper in my fucking hand. I touched my eye. Financial advisor, please. Um, yeah, I mean, a financial advisor would really help with stuff, but they don't understand that. So, how oh, sometimes. Sometimes I'm very, like, random with what I do, and they would kill me if I was just like, yo, I'm buying this flight to go travel here, and, they, and they're like, why didn't you buy the flight two weeks in advance to save money? And I'm like, I don't know, but this is, I'm just being impulsive right now. Like, I, a lot of my content is, like, very impulsive, and that's what I feel makes it exciting, because, like, I've traveled, like, all over the place, and then, in, like, a very short amount of time, so, you know what I mean? If I had a financial advisor, they would not be okay with me just spending fucking money like that, dude. Uh, dude, I should have washed my hands with soap. I just used water. It's fine. Just spend less, yeah. Financial advisors also invest for you. Yeah, I mean, I'll worry about getting a financial advisor when we get into the house and I can actually, you know, save some money here. Instead of just uh, save a little bit, spend most of it. I'm not really that worried about it. I have some some plans in my mind for the f for the future. How much for your editor? Um, too much money. <laughs> too much talk. PewDiePie gets a lot from hentai games. Actually, I did get a sponsor. Like somebody wanted to sponsor me for a hentai game, but I. Wasn't sure if I could do it. I thought it was against YouTube guidelines, so I turned it down. It was just like a ga like a game where they are literally having sex in the game with no censorship whatsoever. Um, and they wanted to pay me, I don't even know how much, I don't remember. I think they wanted to pay me like 10k for uh, for playing it for a couple hours. But I, um, I'm pretty sure it was against YouTube guidelines, so I wasn't really sure. How the talk to Destiny going? Well, I'm actually going to hang out with Destiny tomorrow off stream to talk about you know, life and stuff and whatever else. So I gotta go wash my eyes. Hold on. So we'll st <sighs> see how that goes. dude you talked shit about destiny yesterday and i didn't talk shit about him i just said what i th thought which isn't talking shit it's you know pretty normal um i mean i just said destiny talks like he's a little pretentious sometimes which is not talking shit it's just what i think um it's like criticism i, I suppose and if he's my friend, he can just deal with that. You know what I mean? It's like not like my friends say that I'm an asshole sometimes. Like, and I'm still friends with them because it's just criticism. It's whatever. Oh yeah, Evan. Uh, Evan must be pissed. Yeah, good job telling it straight on Evan Ice. Is Evan pissed? Evan's definitely pissed. His tweet was like, I don't even remember what the fuck he tweeted. Some stupid shit. He was just like, what was his fucking tweet? Who is it? What's up, bro? Hold on. I'm just, uh, I'm busy streaming right now. What is it? All right. You've convinced me. You've convinced me, bro. Trick or treat, dude. What's that? Let's close the shift. Oh, yeah. Trick or treat, dude. I bring Trick or treat? <laughs> treats. Not too many tricks, dude, but I could just bust it out for you if you yeah, want. Yeah, let's see what you got, bro. I mean, fuck it. What's your name? Ren. All right, you want, let's, do let's do this. Because, like, uh, I've mace on my hands. From earlier, dude? Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I've got mace on my hands still, so. <laughs> All right, dude, let's just roll this shit out, dude. 
First of all, there was some stuff I wanted to get you. Like, I see you, like, eating, like, lemons and, like, cheese. Like, taking a bite of, like, a block of cheese and shit. Dude, and cheese like, is awesome. Honestly, I don't have any problems. I have stomach problems, but lemon and cheese, that's like a, don't eat it together. Because I feel like that's what, like, napalm is made out of, right? Dude, I love lemons. I love cheese. It's my favorite. You eat them together? Uh, I don't know if I've eaten them together. Dude, I like lemonade feel, and cheese. That's what they feel bombs with, dude. Fucking lemons and cheese. That's what they fucking... In Vietnam, you remember Forrest Gump? Yeah. They explode. That's... Really? Lemon and cheese. They put dude. cheese inside of missiles. Dude. Google it, dude. Everyone out there, Google it, dude. Okay. Wikipedia, maybe. I mean, fuck. I, I didn't know that was what the palm was made of. What the fuck? Alright, dude. Let's, uh... I'm gonna roll them out, like, slowly. First of all, just the lemons, dude. Oh, it's okay. Some lemons. Hell yeah, dude. I'll eat... Bro, I love lemons, honestly, bro. I eat them by themselves. Vitamin C, dude. The goblet, they have the dude. most vitamin C of any fruit. Dude, I know, dude. Like, I'll eat but these are too. these are not so ripe. But they're good. I'm a Mexican, so I just, like... You just picked them? Well, I grew these fucking things. Oh, you dude. grew them? Yeah, dude. Yo, that's I, even better, dude. Have, these are gonna be organic as fuck. Hell yeah, dude. You can eat the peel, dude. I don't know about that one. <laughs> the peel's probably a little dirty. I can make a tea or some shit. I don't know. So, uh, okay, some lemons. So you have this, like, in your backyard and shit? Yeah, dude. Fuck it, dude. Where do you live at? I live in East LA, dude. How can you have enough room to grow a tree in your backyard? Uh, I mean, this room, dude. This room, like, you know. It's a lot of, like, Mexican people, dude, as I am also. Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> All right, so what else do you have? Did you All bring right. cheese then? Dude, I forgot the fucking cheese. I what the up. hell, dude? I can come tomorrow, dude. Like, for real? Like... <laughs> All good, bro. All right. And just to keep the citrus train going, dude, I brought this shit. Have you ever had... First of all... An orange? Well, all right. You think it's an orange, right? I mean, okay. Is it Cut not this an orange? bitch open, dude. Uh, Do you have a knife? I can maybe rip it, dude. I don't have a knife. What is it? It's yeah. not an orange? Let me just shred this shit. Should I just shred it? Yeah. Bro, what the fuck is that? It's a blood orange, dude. What? You never seen this shit? What the fuck is a blood orange? It looks like a RuneScape fruit or some shit, dude, but it's a blood orange, dude. Uh, what does that mean? What is it made out of? It's it's an orange, but it's a mutation. It's a fucking X-Men type fruit that's really good for you, dude. It tastes just like an orange, but it's like heavy and like red shit. I don't know. You know? That was some good shit. It's fucking good. It Bro, like... it's, so it's just like... Some random ass mutation, but yeah, it doesn't change the orange in any way. Yeah, it's like albino, but red and shit. It tastes good though, huh? It's like. Okay. No, I, I fuck with it, dude. I like it. Mm. Alright, dude, this is the. the um, did you also grow that in your backyard? This one, actually, my friend did. And I was like, hey, dude, hook it up. I might have stole it, but. This is how it goes, dude. For okay. ice, dude, I'll steal shit. Alright, dude, this is the, the piece de la resistance, dude. Mm -hmm. As it were, dude. Marie, for the French people out there, the piece de la resistance. This shit. Alright, dude, just like you like thought, like, what the fuck are you doing with the orange, right, when I busted it open? I'm gonna need you to trust me on this one, alright? Mm hmm. Alright, dude. Let's see what you got. Buckle your shit open. I feel like you're the fruit drug dealer. Dude, I'm fucking pretty much, dude. Trying to build the wall, dude. But You've got, like, all the exotics over here. How are we going to get fruit if fucking Trump builds the wall, dude? I'm the fucking... I mean, I guess we're going to have to grow our own fruit like you just did. Pretty much, dude. Um, all right, strap yourself in the fucking speed racer, dude. This is good shit. Ready? This is for, for me to you and Kimberly, dude. This is DIY. What is it, like a baguette? DIY fucking lube. Huh? I just made this shit. Feel it. It's still warm. It's not come. Um, it's not come. What the fuck is that? All right, dude. Just trust me for a minute. This shit, I just made it. It's, it's literally warm. What, lit what is... You said it's come. No, it is the lube. I said it's not come, dude, but I know it looks like it. You said it's lube. This right here... Why is it warm? You I just fucking cooked it, dude. Straight out of the meth lab. No, dude. Check it out. This shit, let me explain it, is flaxseed lube, dude. Everyone look, like, research it. It's not bullshit. Flaxseed lube. Flaxseed lube. And, dude, one day I was, like... From flax. From flaxseed. So, you know, the little ones, like... You ever had them? Like, dude, no, I'm not a noob anymore. That's the only silver 50K. Um, <laughs> so, do I drink this? No, 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 no. It's lube, dude. Like, lubricant. 
So check it out, dude. But like, if it's from flax seed, I'll just drink this shit, right? Yeah, dude, feel it. Like, rub it in your fingers a little bit. Don't drink it, dude. You know what it's for. You can... No, no, no. Don't taste it. Why? What, what if I do? It's edible. It's edible. It has no, it has no taste. All right. Did it taste like something? It tastes like shit, but... I mean, it's it's very luby. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Dude, when I discovered this, it was out of necessity. You discovered it. No, no. I didn't discover it, but like personal discovery. Bro, I feel like... How about I just eat fucking horse semen, yeah? <laughs> or like your fucking jar of cum. <laughs> it looks about as nasty against you, but let me let me explain to you how I fucking found this thing. Uh huh. I was like banging this like Asian chick the other day. You know what I mean? And I had her bent over, and I was like, I need more lube, dude. Like, I don't know, dude. You know, like if you're if you're going for a marathon, dude, some shit gets dried up a little bit. I just use my. Never mind. I was going to say spit. But. Spit, but I don't know. Sometimes you're dehydrated, dude. You know, I'm fucking... And so I was like, dude, I went straight home. I was like brainstorming, dude. Like, fucking, what do I... You know, and then I was like... All of a sudden, I just found on YouTube, like, flaxseed fucking lube. I'm like, God, I have flaxseed, bro. Like, like, what is real lube made out of? Not flaxseed, right? Made, I don't know, dude. Like, glycerin and shit. Like, just chemicals. There's one ingredient in that, dude. Flaxseed byproduct. Okay, so it's not really from the from the vegetable flax. Uh, it's from the seed. Okay, interesting. Like, flax is what makes, like, sheets and shit. So, flax is, like... I mean, I will... Dollars. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, like, for sex, because, like, that looks messy, but I might jack off with it, like, once or twice. Dude, I'm giving it a run. Not this one specifically, but in my own time. Like, that seems like it'd be a fucking mess. Well, actually, it's not that bad, dude. Like, this shit is, like, dark. It's dark, dude. Why don't you go? To like the people are gonna, dude? people are gonna know I've been jacking off when I when they see this shit all over the floor, walls, whatever the fuck else. Oh, dude, you're on your bed, dude. Just let the linen, let the flax return to the linen flax sheets, dude. Well, I don't like using lube mostly because it gets like too messy and sticky. For real? I like spit is like the perfect amount where my dick is sticky, but nothing else. Spit, you know. Well, dude, I don't know, dude. I mean, I think from what I learned, I mean, you're cut, right? You're like, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm Mexican as it goes, dude. We're, I'm uncut, dude, so we don't... So you just made this. You didn't use it or nothing yet? Not nothing. I was gonna... Matter of fact, I'll tell you guys. I mean, I fucking stream a bit. I was gonna stream this just to be, like, you know, like... I didn't tamper it, dude. This is just... I mean, I I mean what's, the, you, dude, what's the worst you could do? Put, like, fucking pepper juice in there and make my dick burn? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I mean, if you're evil, you could probably put, like, hiv in it or some shit. I Yo, Jux, if you want to send, like, three milligram vape, that could be sick as fuck. That would be nice, or, or zero neck, that'd be good too. Um, okay, is that, uh, so that's that's the gifts? Those are the gifts, dude. Oh but, yeah. You know what no, I mean? I appreciate that, man, thank you. I would have brought the cheese too, if I didn't, like, fuck up with, I just fucked up. No, you good, bro, don't even worry about that. I dig it, bro. I mean, I'll definitely use that flaxseed for something, like, I'll jack off with it or something for sure. Dude, if you pull I mean, if, like, I pull that, if I pull this fucking jar out when, like, on, on some sex shit, like, I'm definitely getting some looks. So I don't know about that one, but you gotta explain. You need to like a hippie chick. I know you're with Kimberly right now, but you know, go to Whole Foods, dude. Whole Foods chicks. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I, I, I think it'd be less weird to just pull out the, just a normal bottle of lube. That's true. Like I have a normal bottle of lube. But I'll tell you, this normal lube runs out, dude. This shit, it's like it could fucking lube up the desert, dude. It's fucking. Slip, dude. If you put, if you drop a little bit in the hallway, everyone's gonna be fucking falling like all night, dude. Harvey J is gonna break his fucking heel, dude. No, I'm gonna use this loop for content. <laughs> dude, you're gonna hurt people with that shit. You put it on the floor, dude. I'm gonna use the loop for content instead of actual functionality. Dude, you say that, dude, but come like 2 a.m., dude. You know, with the little fucking caddy. Do I have a normal bottle of lube? Oh, dude, really? dude, this shit's not normal though, dude. This is like next. Next fucking level, dude. Here, let me take some out. Hold on, let me, let me see this. Dude, so, like, you were you just thinking one night, like, oh, I'm gonna bring Ice and his girlfriend some lube? Oh yeah, dude. I was like thinking, I was like, you know what? Who would benefit from this shit, dude? I think, I think Ice would, dude. You know? I don't know, dude. I mean, you can't say you're not intrigued by the fuck. I'm half, dude. I think this is worth like forty bucks, dude. If like, it's like, it's not cold pressed, but you know. Still legitimate. It's almost hard to dry. It's so good, dude. <laughs>
It's looking good, isn't it, dude? Like, even like, dude, like, put it on a, like a dildo or some shit. You won't be able to hold on to it, dude. Hold on, I'm I'm just testing it. This is how people test shit in the laboratories, dude. This is science right here before your eyes. I don't like it. Really? It's, bro, this shit, it's like luby, but it's like, it's got, like, I need a lot, bro. It's like not even. That's the thing, dude. That's why I gave you like a fucking half a Actually, bag. okay. It's pretty fucking good, dude. Okay. Actually, I, I liked it. I fucks with it. I like it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Dude. But it seems a little, just messy, like I said. Hey, dude, it's actually really good for your skin, so, like, I mean, you have a towel? I'm gonna get you a towel, dude, but after uh, you dry your hands, your hand is like a fucking, it's like sponsored by Johnson & Johnson's, like, baby oil, dude, like, fucking, you have infant, infant palms. Allegedly, you know. No, no fucking underage hand. It doesn't literally turn your hands underage, because that... What? Obviously, that... So I jack off and I become underage. What are you saying? <laughs> um, I'm saying your hands are gonna feel like baby sauce. So like they're okay. Damn, your hands are like jittery a little bit, dude. Did Eleven give you like a fucking B12 blast? No. Oh yeah, they're not that bad. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Bible. Dude, wait. I didn't say that in the fucking chat. Oh, you just thought of that. Both. Is it true? Hmm. Like, I look like fucking Shia LaBeouf a little mm -hmm. bit? It's weird, dude, because I ask people, and they don't say that, but some of my fucking chat's like, you know. But, uh... Oh, thank you for the stuff, dude. I appreciate it. Your lemon trees? Good. Dude. A class. Top tier. Dude, from you, dude, I humbly fucking racist pal, dude. Mm. Dude. Hey, oh, go you. ahead. Thank you. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Oh, dude. For you, dude. I mean, I've been watching for since the first CX Factor, dude. Hell Huge yeah. Fan. Fuck okay. yeah, dude. Huge fan of... Uh, How come you've never come by before, then? Well, for a long time, I lived not in L.A. I only recently moved back. And uh, so, yeah, dude, I was like, move back. Fucking first thing I'm going to do is go to Isis, dude. So, shut up, dude. But, hey, dude, I mean, shout out to fucking Asian Andy. One of my favorite motherfuckers out on the fucking network, dude. He seems like nowadays people have been forgetting about him, dude. Don't forget about the fucking alpha daddy, dude, that's lingering somewhere in fucking Westminster. Not the docks, though. I don't know where he lives. But, uh, dude, he's, he's a fucking shit, dude. So you guys should... Don't forget about the fucking, you know, the fuck... He's he's the he's the fucking, uh, the, the fucking yellow inspiration, dude. I don't know. I'm not trying to be racist, dude. I mean, like, you know, like... Lemon, dude, because lemon, I bring yellow. You know what I mean? You hate blacks? <laughs> I like yellow oranges and lemons. Okay. I like the color yellow sometimes, dude. All right. Well, thank you, dude. It's been nice seeing you, man. I fucking appreciate you very much. I'm going to use this lube to jack off so you can keep that in your mind. And I fucking love you, homie. Dude, I love you too, dude. I mean, honestly, I wish... You weren't necessarily in a relationship. Not that I don't have anything against Kimberly, dude. I mean, she's Wait, me. what? She seems cool, dude. She se I love... Are you trying to say you want to fuck me? No, dude. I'm not fucking... I'm not of the homosexual pers persuasions. But, <laughs> okay. But just to talk about... Because, I don't know, dude. You When you do Tinder and shit on stream, it seems like it never works because people troll you. But I want to know, like, before Kimberly... All right, I don't want to get you in trouble and shit, but... How how was it going for you? I mean, did you really like pull chicks or like what the fuck? <laughs> um, on Tinder, no, not really. Maybe like two in my fucking lifetime because Tinder doesn't ever work for me. Two my my, in my but in my Instagram DMs, a lot. And you never you fall through with those or not? Yes. Oh, those yes, they're all leeches. Yes. Literally all of my Instagram DMs are like half of them are like just random fucking girls from random fucking places and they're all just they're either fa they're either fans or they're leeches. They're one of the fucking two. 
And it's like, if I'm traveling somewhere and it's like this girl and she just happens to be where I'm from, she like DMs me and she's like, yo, let's hang out. That's already, yo, it's fucked. That's what it means. And it's quick. Just quick polish the pole. And yeah, the it's, I mean, over. basically, yeah. It's just yeah. like, I'll meet up with him and it's just like, we just fuck. Like, I don't know. Like, basically. That's some fucking, that's. God so yeah. that was my, uh, that was my, I, my way of getting women when I just am fucking horny and like bored and shit. So it's like fishing with dynamite. Although dude. I don't do that anymore because obviously I have a girlfriend, obviously um, but I, uh, I did hit some of them up for a tracksuit and they all denied. They denied tracksuit? I, well, I cut it. I, I was going to bait them over here, but then like if they leak that, it doesn't look like I'm baiting them. It looks like I'm fucking being unloyal. So I, I say, I'm like, this is you want to hang out with my friend tracksuit and then they are just like no absolutely not <clears throat> god dude what about tracksuit is throwing these chicks off but, I, but if i bait them then they don't have a choice but i don't want that to just look bad dude let me say something to tracksuit dude i don't know what the fuck is going on dude but i mean from what i see you're a tall fucking dude you're out there you're trying to lift weights dude i'm sure you got a pretty okay i don't lift weights dude what no, do you no, no, mean no, fucking tracksuit not you dude Obviously, you're not lean ice, dude, which I want to get to that really quick after this. But fucking tracksuit, you know, you're doing everything right, but you're not doing everything right at the same fucking time. Dude, like, like he, the other day he was over there talking to, like, EBZ, like, on your fucking porch and shit. And he was like, you know, the reason I like to watch you, EBZ, is because I like to learn from you. It's like, dude, figure your shit out, dude. And don't, don't learn from EBZ, dude. He's up there fucking slapping people. Not that there's anything wrong with EBZ. Don't fucking slap me either, but figure your shit out, tracksuit. God fucking damn it. You're making everyone fucking look bad at CX, dude, out there. Fuck. Come on, dude. Like, I mean, he's probably just being nice. That's true. He probably doesn't mean that. Imagine watching EBZ to learn something. Like, he's probably just being nice. That's true. He's probably just kind of giving them neck since he's, they're in the same. I mean, place. I watch EBZ to get a good laugh. I don't watch EBZ to learn something. Like, dude, the actually, fuck do you learn? I actually like fucking EBZ for real. Like, Actually, I like, I'm, dude, I'm a fan in general, just everyone, yeah. CX, yeah. That's like, good. You know. So, but, with chicks, dude, for me, like, I'm not picky at all, dude. Like, some of you guys, like, shit on fucking, uh, who's the fucking chick, the slug, what's her name? Jesse? Yeah, Jesse. Bro, you would have sex with that? No, 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 I'm trying to make a point, though, dude. Like, you guys are saying she's, like, ugly as shit. I wouldn't fuck her because, uh, why because she's ugly as shit. Like, like, I was being nice a few days ago, and I was like, oh, she's, like, decent. But, like, I was just being nice. Like, she's fucking disgusting. She, I mean, she looks like I would catch a couple different fucking things, dude. That's why, I mean, I'd rather go for, like, a fucking three, maybe a four. Uh, maybe a two, if, the, like, the light, the weather's right. I'm, like, horny enough, you know? And Actually, then, this girl did, this girl DM'd me on Instagram yeah. about Jesse. Weeks ago, like we many, many weeks ago. What did you say? I don't know if it's something that I should actually say because it's like very fucked up of me if I do. Yeah. And I also have no proof that this person is not just bullshitting me. Yeah, right, right. But they said something that is, it's like bad. It's like. You're not going to say it or what? I don't know. I don't think it's the right thing for me to do. It's just like, okay, I'll say allegedly. Because then it's not proof, but it's just like, I don't know. And she really is, like, annoying, so she deserves any bullshit. Let me, let me pull up the Instagram DMs. And this is about Jesse. Let me see. What'd you say? And this is about Jesse specifically. This is about Jesse specifically. And way before you even met her ass. Or before. Um, after I met her. After. This girl, like, Jesse immediately met. DMs me on Instagram. <clears throat> And she says, can you send me the Reddit post on Jessica? I want to read it, but it got taken down and like all this other shit. I know her she, from when she lived in Mississippi and she's insane. No, th this is another reason why I wouldn't. I'm in Mississippi, she put bleach in my sister's shampoo and got arrested for it. And I still have a pic of her arrest warrant. She also has, allegedly, also has herpes for a fact she told me and she had her medication in the fridge Damn, dude. and then i just had a little conversation with her about random shit like she fucked a robot and like all the other shit and i was like there's i'm like i don't believe you she's lying like you're probably lying and then she's like i know for a fact she does but believe what you want 
So she's obviously dangerous. This this girl even says, I would be careful, dude. She's dangerous. She's like and then she sent me a... I, I believe this is a restraining order. Um, of Like, this girl says has a restraining order on Jesse. And she sent me the restraining order. What the fuck, man? Um, before me, the undesigned justice court judge for Okachiba County, M Mississippi, came blank, being fully dual sworn, states that Jesse... Taylor in the county aforesaid on our October 25th, 2016 did purposely knowingly and unlawfully cause bodily injury by placing Clorox toilet bowl cleaner in her shampoo and conditioner bottles. This resulted in the feeling of burning skin and caused her to break out in her rash. Oh, I don't know. That's not her restraining or this is just like what she did. This is crazy shit. Like she's so crazy. Like, RV Andy, just be careful, bro. And I like I've been like I've known about this for like probably a few weeks now. When I got that DM, I just didn't give a shit. But like, if Jesse yeah. wants to be a fucking dumbass. Like, all right, we can be dumbasses together then. Yeah, RV said he got checked, dude. But you had to like double bag your shit, dude, because a little bit on the shaft goes a long way. I feel like, dude. Sounds like she's a fucking walking biological weapon, dude. Like fucking herpes. Fuck, I just. Fuck. Oh, actually, yeah, Mike does have a point. My girlfriend does have a rash on her, like, on her eye right now that she just randomly got. Is that, like... I don't... I don't think... No, this... No, because Jesse didn't switch out my shampoo bottle. I really don't think so, Mike. I know what you're trying to imply, but I know you... I know that's... Like, there's no way she put out her fucking shampoo bottle, dude. Or, like, fucked up my shampoo bottle. Because I would, I would have seen it, right? And I would have... Like, I used the same shampoo that she did, so it's like, I would have it, too, so. Um, I don't know. Obviously, you can't trust her. Thanks for coming, dude. Hey, dude. Appreciate it. Nice it seeing you, nice dog. Nice to meet you. Hell yeah, homie. One more tip. I'm a bounce, dude. I know you guys want me to fucking leave. I'm out here. I'm in East L.A. trying to bang Mexican chicks and shit, you know, and just a little tip, dude. If you're going to go for, like, anal entries, dude, um, just make sure, like, dude, Fucking Spanish chicks, Mexican chicks, they love eating spicy shit, dude. You ever seen with the fucking bag of Takis that fucking eat what are you jalapenos? Saying, dude? dude, you fuck your dick in there. Next thing you know, dude, there's a fucking jalapeno seed in your fucking dick, dude. And you're like, fucking, it's. If you never felt a fucking full on pepper seed in your fucking shaft, you don't know what fucking being within the seven layers of fucking hell. Hell, dude, or whatever Dante's. Is this like a like a stand-up joke or something? What are you saying? I'm telling. This is like narrative, dude. Like the other day, I was fucking a chick. I had something burning in my dick, and uh, I don't do anal shit anymore, dude. It kind of scarred me, so you know, I'm just <laughs> trying to educate, help people. All right. Well, nice seeing you, man. That was a great stand-up uh, routine there. All right. Have a good day. It was the end, dude. I was just trying to hang out with you and. Uh... No, I get that. I'm just I'm streaming, dog. Oh, for real, yeah, no. Every time I just see people, like, bust in... And yeah, yeah, they do, and, and then when it's when it's time to leave, I tell them to go. Right. But for sure. uh, thanks for coming, dude. Thanks for the gifts. I really appreciate it, dude. I'm gonna always watch your fucking streams. Oh, Shout yeah. out to everyone on the CX Network. Also, dude, real quick, I'm leaving, dude. I am just wanted to say, oh, if you wanted to, like, watch my shit, I mean, I don't know. Should I plug my shit or not? Nah? Uh, all right, all right. I, don't know, I mean, you might as well at Should this I, point. I mean, if they like me, dude. If they don't like me, I'll fucking bounce the fuck out, dude. Cause, you know, I don't want to like plug shit and then like. I mean. No one like. like let me let me tell you something. Go for it. If you have to say I'm gonna plug my stuff or should I plug my shit, nobody's gonna like you. No one's gonna even. Like no it. one's gonna like you, and no one's gonna watch it either. That's true. It has to naturally happen. You can't force it. That's true. But if you were going to do yourself the shout out, you should have just said it. That's because true. when you ask for validation, it it's always going to be no. Everyone gets pissed the fuck off, yeah. Yes. I would have just said it, dude, but I guess everyone always <laughs> shamelessly plugs their shit. And I'm like, might as well fucking have respect in the house of CX, dude. But uh, obviously I still have respect, but whatever. Dude. If you want to see my shit, just look up Ren Blanco, dude. That's my fucking... Uh, my shit out there, dude. I'm streaming in East LA. I'm gonna kill a chicken tomorrow for uh, ice. Hey, dude. I'm actually gonna kill a chicken tomorrow. I could bring you a fucking meal, dude. I actually love fucking cooking. 
Yeah, bring me some chicken tomorrow. I'll be down for that. Just kill it and bring it to me. Like a fucking soup or like a pasta or whatever the fuck. I mean, just whatever. Get some fuck? Just like some chicken, dog. Like, I don't, it's whatever, dude. Dude, I'm bringing it, dude. If you <laughs> want to see a fucking slaughtering ethically, I'll, uh, let's fucking get down, dude. All right, we'll see you later, All honey. Right, have a good one, bro. See it's in the chat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. That guy's funny. That guy said do a lot. Yeah, I say do a lot too, but fuck it, dude. <laughs> yeah, but okay, there we go. And then we had, uh, Conversations about Jesse there. That was great. Hope that doesn't come back to me. I really hope she's not a gang member. Otherwise, I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, the knock is inevitable. He's coming back, bro. You think he's? <laughs> Do they always come back? Um. I mean, he seemed like a cool guy, just a little awkward. But at the end, yeah, his he tried to do like a, like a stand up joke or something. Like, let me tell you something. If you have to force yourself to say a joke, it's never going to be funny. Um, you have to just let jokes naturally flow. If you, you know what I mean? You, you can't just be like, okay, this is my moment to say the joke. Like, you can't, that's not how it works. Jesse can't hate you. She's that desperate. Well, of course, but I hope she hates me. Um, I want her to fucking hate me. Um,. Another one-way flight, Andy. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not letting her back in my house, but she's not worth the TTSB. Kind of like my jokes. No, I don't. Dude, my jokes just come naturally. If I say a joke um, that's like that comes off like awkward, it's that's the point. You know what I mean? Like I don't really do stand-up comedian jokes. I just let shit flow. But, uh, okay, well, I'm going to go. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Peace, y'all, and uh, goodbye. Actually, let me let these donuts play real quick because I've been scamming them. Be proud you created a cult following. All you, no one else. Keep it up. Work ethic and repetition equals confidence and results. Keep the water up and next month do daily push-up challenge or a three to five kilometers run weekly. Love. I should work I out, but my water intake has been really good. Each month from the investor's money. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like 50k a month, and it's just like shit. I, I don't know. I didn't need to get the. I don't have the numbers on my top of the head. Yeah, <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> I know. Self defense class with scuffed Jim Carrey. Go to stop him from getting sexually assaulted all the time. Yeah, but they, I've tried to do like Taekwondo classes before. They don't let us film. We could get like some teacher to come to our house, but the teachers would, I don't know. It takes a long time to learn self defense. Even if like we're just fucking around and shit, it wouldn't, like, we'd want to take it seriously. Thank you, Scott. Why am I banned from the chat? I'm Manny, now you goblin. Thanks. I can't even super chat. CX, my boy. You're going to have to link me your YouTube channel so I can do that, but thank you, dude. What do you think your audience likes to see most? I'm a YouTube normie that saw you training in the live stream section during your card giveaway stream. I like the dungeon and prison streams too. I mean, what do you like to see the most? The worst. Invite yourself over. Stay there for 30 minutes disturbing member stream. Your chum is up GTFO of my screen. I, I think people Drop like to watch this a dynamic out. range of shit. This guy looks like he's from Bird Box and he likes watching the monsters. I don't know. I've never seen that stuff, but thank you. I don't. I've never seen Bird Box. I just did the challenge, so I don't know. Thank you, though. Ice. I just dropped off my resume. I want to become your new moderator, please. I gave Gold's dad my resume. Can you please read it? Thank you. Scuff Steve Jobs asked me to be on stream, but I declined. This guy looks like he is from Bird Box, and he likes watching the monster. Yo, let me uh, let me go get your resume. I'm gonna see what. Let me let me go see. There's no. Not the resume off to be a moderator. People with high IQ can figure out this riddle. Can figure out the answer. Ice. 
Here, hand it to me. Is that the resume? Yeah. Uh, let me see. What's this riddle? Ice. I just gave Bold Sad a resume to become your new moderator. Can you please read it? Thank you. Yes. And now, and then we have this guy. All right. A man walks into a pawn shop. What the fuck is this? A man walks into a pawn shop. He has with him a medal that belongs to his late grandfather. On his medal, it's written Medal of Courage, World War I. He hands the medal to the clerk and tells him what he wants to sell. The clerk examines the medal and gives it back. He then kicks the man out of his store. How did the clerk know the medal was fake? What? Um... What the fuck is that? He has a medal within the long just later. Medal of courage. He had a medal. I don't know this riddle. No idea. Because he was Jewish. Is what somebody in the chat said. Or he's a woman. Or some one or something one of those one of those things <laughs> one one of those um or like i don't know he was like an ethnic or something i don't know um what the fuck dude this guy literally has a whole literally a whole ass fucking resume dude so, all right so. i didn't want to like i just wanted to see if i leaked his shit hopefully not um <laughs> I didn't see that he had like his whole info in here. Um, okay. Digital marketing, di digital marketing specialist. Wow. So how does your your skill in Google Analytics apply to being a moderator? I mean, <laughs> you like? I feel like you're doing more than just trying to be a moderator right now. I feel like you're trying to be like my manager, dude. You have like skills and in increased traffic, web traffic through SEO strategy and like other just shit that's like, you know, manager type shit. You've done freelance stuff. Wow. Website security project management, advertising campaigns, marketing, social media management. Wow, you've done everything, haven't you? You've done it all, bro. You have... These are your past jobs, okay. <clears throat> I might be wrong, but, I mean, this is a... This is a decent resume, but you're way too overqualified, my friend. <laughs> like, um, here's the thing. Moderators have to be chosen by me that I think people, that you have to know the community. Being, being having a real job doesn't mean you know the community. You know what I mean? So that none of that stuff applies to being a moderator, unfortunately. But, um, and it's also unpaid. But um, my friend, Maybe I'm wrong, but I think resumes are only supposed to be one-sided page. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I think, isn't the ideal resume one, like just one one-sided page with like, uh, like not that much words. Like you got a lot of information on here. I feel like you should cut the information um, down a little bit because you've got way, like you've got like literally 20 bullet points under every single category. Like dude, just... I think all you have to do is name like your top three or four. You don't need to name every fucking thing that you've done. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know. That's just what they taught me in, in college. Uh, on like how to get a job and shit. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go. So mods, just uh, post in the chat, raid whoever the fuck you want. So I'll let you guys uh, go. See you guys later. Love you and goodbye. Sam? You must be trolling, because you know the response from the chat is gonna, what the chat's gonna be. <laughs> okay, goodbye.